Alright, we are in the game already. Too hard, I might get caught. How is that Arthur? Shows up over there. Nice doing some body block and first levels adding some hoofstorm just to kill this too hard. One hit away, get chopped by the axe. Walking up. The fight actually happened on the bottom lane as well. The fast line dropping low and that's another kill for Team Barca. Elville going in, YOLO man fight. Oh, a bat! Look at that, almost killed that Rubik. Telekinesis is back, now oh, he's running away from his life. Our fool still got another fire blast. Uh, let's see, who is the better basher? That's it. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo. face is void. It's a bash war. And yep, no. Actually, not much people staying there. Only me and a horse. <laughs> well, Telekinesis is back. They're gonna get that disruptor. Follow up with a fire blast and an ignite. Ooh, trying to save his teammate by using our world devourer. Buying some time. Stampede already comes up and he get bashed by the Alfu. Alfu get on the slash now. It's a trade one for one. Yeah, we got some fight going on in the middle lane. And it was... Three kill streak ended. Shooting the Illuminator Afu. Ooh, hoo -hoo, shoot down by the horses. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Shooting the horse and trying to defend the tower. Blinking hoops, Storm stop that Jalanor to use his Omni Slash, but he's still been spinning around. He got two kills. How is that even possible? Team Evil's got three kills out of this team fight. It's absolutely nothing on that team fight, and that's gonna be four kills for Team Evil's officially come back in this game. Tornado, it seems like Nana decided to go for some fun, and Chrono Fear comes out. Nana, go for more. Wow! Look at that. And here we go. This is gonna push in for more. It's a good opportunity to take down the Rax. Mana League or that Afu. Telekinesis and trying to aim for the core hero first. If Outworld Devourer goes down, that should be very, very bad. They're gonna lose at least one set of Rax for sure. Dropping some set of the Eclipse. At least before he goes down, he kills the support. But Archit is still there and his mental style is ready to use. Here we go, the mental style. That's what I'm talking about. It seems like Outworld Devourer also got no buyback because he doesn't have enough gold. Well, that should be, like I said, at least one set of racks. Might be two. Take down at the top. Uh, I'm sorry, in the middle tier three tower shooting the reindeer scene as well. That playing scene hoops, so I'm trying to aim for that. Jalanor at first, but he's still got an Aegis. He's just gonna make use of that Aegis for sure. Rubik goes down, and now they just come back and focus on the tower once again. The tower goes down, going in for the middle wire apps. Uh, Baza Ben, where is your invoker when you really need him? He died. Keep on shooting, dealing damage, and healing at the same time for the fast life. Uh, spamming his Illuminator. That's a Rax. Trying to run away, another heal coming out from that. Oh, setting up the Celtic field, steady storm, Omni Slat just to get out. Oh, Omni Slat into that blue door too. Multi cast. Dropping quite low for us. It, no, actually. Our world devourer is still there. He's trying to save some terms. Uh, dropping the ultimate. This is not enough to kill anyone. What a big, big team fight here. It's so chaos. Ill Scepter on that two hoy. Sun strike on him. A double kill by Nana, the only guy who got away is Elotic. He got away with an Aegis. Roshan is not online yet while the fights already happened. Aiming for that Invoker, dropping quite low. 20% HP, 10% HP, throwing some flashbang. They need to aim for the Nana, but Nana seems to like go away. That is an airball crown of fear by Archit. Archit already made some mistake around here. It seems like Team Barca might have to make a decision whether they're just gonna go for more and they're gonna fight. No more Chrono Fear thing up an eye wall. But Nana still can spam his Tornado. Double kill for Nana. Shooting from the lower ground is not a problem at all for Nana. Bought back right away. Apu bought back. Nana gone, but he bought back too. Monster kill, Illogic. The god of man to man fighting. Ah, oh, Illogic, the samurai versus Archit, who is going to be the best fighter around here. Illogic. 
Why do walk forward into an argent? But the like this is do you even live a samurai? Oh my goodness. Samurai goes down. That got like streak broken both of team evils. He still can buy back though. The fast like running back in. 32 to 23 game score before the game start people saying that it's going to be a super easy game for Barca But it's not at all the first life stuck in a tree line he was far by the Barca Hex and day I don't get that decision Arjit jumping in Tornado just gonna hit the whole hero very nice Arjit waiting for the chronosphere welcome back to the fear a world be far down without doing any single damage. He still got a buyback though. Only slash already came out. So Albert Devour is right here. For the Black King bar and Slytherin Crush stunning everyone. Where is the damage dealer? Albert Devour is still here. It was a little bit too late setting up this circle. A fire blast on that Albert Devour. Tornado comes out. Every nice second Slytherin Crush once again. EMP cold. Oh god, so many spells already comes out on that. But he was stunned by the pistol blade and Nana goes down. Barca Ben died too, them side dropped uh, two down for Team Bazaar. He was about to win this game because Team Bazaar is running off the buyback. Spinning around, uh, blinking, Citri Crush uh, trying to stop Team Bazaar from coming up from the fountain. Illogic already got one tower, tier 4 tower about to drop. Talekanis is trying to stop Illogic from destroying the throne. Look at that! Man, spinning around, and it's a GG core already come up from Nana. They know that that was their last team fight because they all ran out the buyback. Team Evils took game one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Afu, let's let's take a look at this curious knight. Stay behind the trees. Afu coming out. He saw the career. No, he never cares. He's just gonna go diving in. Poor. That is the first blood for Team Basar. Basar Ben. Chat once again. Here we go. You gotta get. You, you are under a race. It need a strike as well. Sun strike. Eloji just gonna jump in for sure. Mana Lee just to save his teammates. That was very good save by X Noah. But he ran into Eloji. So what a mistake made by Barca Ben. Riki also already came out. They get rid of that warlock. At least he got something. They need to get rid of this hard carry too. He jumped away from the tree line. He's gonna get another jump. But can he run away from the race? No. Now he's gonna get charged once again. Oh my god, what a crazy charge. It's still got need a strike. Already came out a sun strike. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Here we go, dropping the chaotic offering. And here we go, the crater sphere as well. The illogic jumped away, getting some HP back. It's time for Archit to help his teammate. Even Archit joined the team fight. Here we go, the war for the first time by our will. Our build. Illusion is killing it. But I don't know what Warlock doing there. He was a little bit too offside. And the referee just put his flags on. Arjit coming back in, trying to get that out bill. The wall is kind of annoying. It's kind of blocked Barca. The race of Barca from charging them. Now you're gonna get charge. Arjit dropping quite low. The race once again jumped away. Get HP back. The wall is still there though. Ben walk through the wall. And another duel comes out. Another race. That's it. Blinking and here we go the real drop gain some HP back and that's the chrono fear they got two targets they're aiming for the guy who doesn't have the edges first going for awful oh, another bad would kill him fatal ball will kill him every way he got bad out vacuum back to the wall this is not looking good for team Basar they might lose an edges but no worries got Ben down there and they got a duel tornado EMP comes out burn most of the mana of that Ben out Wow, he's still there, running out of mana because of the mana lead, because of that spirit breaker. What's hit by the Nana? Right in the back. Monster kill. Nobody can stop that Nana. Archit, no chrono fear. Keep in mind, an another duo comes out of vacuum, trying to do some vacuum and a charge in, dropping quite low for Alpha. Die for the second time. They jumped away, gain some HP back. But Nana is on fire right there, killing everyone. Got life beyond already. Waiting for the creep wave first. Got a little EMP trying to buy sometimes. Arch it. Dodge that with his rage. And that would definitely be another rat. Blinking Citrine Crotch on the um someone. Here we go. Setting up the wall, but no vacuum. Nana running out of ages, but no problem because he still got the Satanic. Take a look at that. All oh, died in front of that Nana. GG has been called, guys. We're going to the final games for the night.
Sla, last pick from Team Evils. It is safe lane from Team Bazaar. Now they're trying to catch our wheel first. Our wheel eating Tango so early. The fast life right here trying to play, saving his teammate. Oh, Impale on two. The fast life. Uh, who's going to go down first? Uh, the grand finals game started with an excitement. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the highest net worth is still uh, from Bazaar. Meanwhile, another catch on the hard carry. Ajit goes down. Uh, with the help of the fast light, and our build is already level 7. Let's take a look on top lane. They're trying to catch uh, uh, Barsa Ben on top as well. That jumped on him, Dark Pack, Sun Strike on a hit. Now, three players of Team Barsa gathering up at the, in the middle lane. Archit trying to take down the mid tier on tower. That is going to be their second tower. Started off with a Taylor Kennedy on two hoy. But the thing is, Evo's got the high ground. That is very bad position to fight, Evo's. Now he got half HP. Oh god, the fast life just spread that archit. In the middle lane, Illogic took down the mid tier one tower. Telekinesis is back. Illogic jumped on that archit, dropping quite low. Sunstrike is not gonna hit. Archit finally knows how to dodge a Sunstrike. Pop the dust and going in for Alpha. He got one kill and here comes the Eclipse. But a lot of chairings. Oh my goodness, Stampede trying to run away. It was only one hit on that archit, but. Storm Spirit saves him, Nana. Here we go, the whole team smoke. That, but that is kind of obvious. Because the creep wave is still pushing in. I think Team Evils knows about that. Alpha, the smoke reveal already popped up the dust. Are you logic? I heard the dust sound. So he's just gonna run away. They started off with the lake and this is on too high. Too high. Drop his ultimate before he goes down. He can feel a little damage though. It's a trade. They lost the Rubik as well. Setting up the ice wall. But it seems like Invoker is on the lower ground. Actually, on the same ground. The band was so slow. They're stuck in telekinesis. And yep, when it all comes down. And monster kill for that Rams. He still got some HP just come in and using. Oh god, like already. Double kill for that Rams. Next one is going to be that Nana 3v2. Now it's become 2v2. True Gucci Chin. Pull him back to the Eclipse. Dealing tons of damage. But it's just not enough to take down that Lamps. It got right. Oh god, setting up. Who gonna die first? Finally, Nana got him down. Where's the party? Gonna go around. And it's catching the Nana. He fly away. From that pound. Here we go, dropping some impale. Now aiming for that Rubik, who is going to go down first. The first one who goes down is very important because it's gonna make team outnumbered. Unstoppable. Oh god, so many singles fails to take it down. And now finally they get the banana from the Black King bar. Rams are gonna walk down to the river. Archit on the high ground. He's just gonna right click that crystal mine and double kill for the Archit. He's still got around like 70% HP while team E was down for 4. 19 to 19 game score. Here we go, jumped in and dropping some Eclipse, doing tons of damage. That Ram was so ready about it. He popped the Black King bar. He moved out and he goes in and What an in and out strategy for Team Evos. Get rid of that Rubik. But it seems like they're going to lose two heroes right there. And also, he's going to lose. Please force Lark to go back and regen. Now they cannot defend this Barak. That's going to be an easy Rax for Team Bazaar. Nice dodging and impale. Telekinesis is back. Do you even live on that Nexus scene? A uh, very nice cast in the time left on his teammate to save his life. But however, they cannot save the Barak though. Illoti coming back from the high and stipe on Arfu. But it seems like he trained himself with his ward, which is not a good trade at all. Illoti got no buy. He got a buyback. But it doesn't matter. And Bazaar remembers about that. So they're just gonna go straight in for the throne. Here we go. Tier 4 attacking. Trying to slow down with the tornado EMP. Where's the ice wall? Blinking impale. Need to slow down that archit. They still got a buyback, some of them, but not the slug. Shooting the tornado. Here we go. Setting up the EMP from the Black King Bar. One more time for Storm Spirit. That was five second Black King Bar. Blinking Hoop Storm on two. Rams are dropping quite low. Does he have a buyback? He got. He need to do it right now. Bought back right away. The Fast life, uh, retreat back a little. Uh, now nah, make a few streak again, and uh, Rams killed him with a sun strike. Here we go, the frostbite. He's trying to catch that Apu, but Telekinesis is back. Barsa Ben is ready to drop some Hoomstorm at double agent. They still manage to defend the tier 4 towers. Archie is going in for the towers. The fast life, now no more tier 4. Archie is going for the throne. Uh, let's see how they're gonna defend this one. Ram trying so hard, shooting the Sonic Boom out uh, from the Black King Bar, but Archie going straight for the throne. I don't. Give a care about that. Uh, setting up the ice wall. Dropping quite low. 50% HP is already Nana. Coming back real quick. Oh god, they're going for a throne. 
Bill hits the way. The tornado EMP comes out and all oh, board back. Ben even board back, setting up the tornado EMP. Turns it. Oh, oh my goodness! And now they lost. And GT 99 has been called from Team Evil's Team Barca. It's so victorious. What a crazy series and what a long day.